Hi, in this video we're going to be addressing a whole bunch of the different ways that you can launch debris or any other FTC game element. This shooter launches balls linearly using the tension in a rubber tube. A motor pulls back the mechanism and releases, launching the ball out. The pros to this design are that it can shoot really far because it's so powerful and you can vary the distance it shoots by changing how far the motor pulls it back. Also, it can shoot almost any kind of projectile because it's so flexible. The downsides are that it's big, taking up a lot of space in the robot, and it takes a long time to shoot each ball. This is another one of our launching prototypes. This is a dual flywheel design that uses these super grippy rubbery reels from Bainbots. With this design, you can adjust the distance between the two launchers to shoot various size balls. Right now we have it set up for the particles with the 2016-2017 FTC season. So this is another catapult mechanism and it uses a linkage system so that you're able to shoot a little bit faster but you don't have any adjustability over your range uh, or shooting distance. So the way it works is this gear rotates around and catches on the first linkage with this stop and as this linkage goes around and once this stop is halfway through, it's no longer held down by the stop, and so it swings back around, and the result is the arm flings out and shoots the particle or whatever debris you're shooting out. So this is an example of it shooting. We're gonna be shooting the world. So this is another one of our ideas for launching particles. It's called a slingshot. And so another prototype idea is kind of like a popper where you use flex polycarbonate and you like put a tension on it so that it will pop. <laughs> this is another catapult mechanism that you could use that uses the tension of rubber bands and a gear rack system so you can adjust whatever tension you want so that you can change the uh, distance of whatever you're shooting. And it also has a release mechanism down here and once that release mechanism goes off, the servo bring, comes back up and the gravity takes this arm down of the catapult. The lock goes back in place, the servo goes back down, stretching up the rubber bands, and then it'll shoot off. So here's how it works. All these systems have a lot of pros and cons to them, and we'll start over here with the catapult, or the rapid fire catapult. Because it has a linkage, there can be a lot of mechanical fa failure. But because of this linkage, it shoots really quickly, and because it's spring-powered, there's a lot of accuracy to the system. And the only disadvantage to the system is that you don't have any dis distance control because there's a set spring tension, and unless you can figure out a way to adjust that spring tension, that's the fixed distance and shot that you're going to have. With the popper, it's another sort of continuous system because the motor is just rotating in one direction, and then you're basically primed and shooting again. A disadvantage to the system, again, is you don't have any distance control because you're just relying on the mechanical flex of a piece of material. But you also have good accuracy that way because you're going to have a consistent shot every single time. The flywheels, on the other hand, are not going to be as accurate because they have to rev up and depending on voltage, you're going to have a lot of problems. But they do do well with aiming because you can change the speed of each wheel and that results in spin or a change in arc and you can also change the speed to result in different distances. Another disadvantage is that you're really restrained to balls because the wheels conform to balls much better and spin and just the way that the ball is flying through the air works much better than say a cube. And then for this catapult because you have a gear rack system which allows you to adjust the tension on your rubber bands, you have variable distance, but you're giving up a lot of speed because you have to you know, bring it back up and then lock it down and then basically prime it. And because of that, you're losing a lot of speed and there's a lot of mechanical failure that there can be. But again, it is very accurate because you can change the distance and you have a set tension.
Bye. <laughs>